The construction nearly finished at Durham's elections office. All right, so this is the construction zone. Yes. Set yes. to reopen with some startling new features. This is already the bulletproof glass. Yes. And more is going to go in right here. Absolutely, yep. The whole front of this will have this same uh, glass. Bulletproof glass at the front desk. Ballistic um, so doors reinforced with steel. And in the new mail room? And then right here is actually where the panic button will be. A panic button, one of several in the building, and a separate exhaust system in case of white powder scares. Did you ever think you'd have to put in something like that in a place like this? Um, not at all. Derek Bowens, the county's director of elections, has worked in the industry for more than a decade. And now? A lot of rhetoric that we hear about election officials and elections in general require us to, to have a different security posture and perspective about preparation uh, with regard to security. With everything you just laid out, is there any concern that it's overkill? No, uh, we don't feel that at all. The safety of election officials, the preservation of democracy, and making sure that there's no inter interference should come with a limitless perspective in terms of preparation and, and response. It's not just North Carolina. More than 90% of local election officials reported stepping up safety measures since 2020, from armed security in Washington state to active shooter training in Arizona. So we'll be starting along this side of the building. And to reinforced barriers outside facilities in Pennsylvania. It's unfortunate that we're spending so many resources, time, emotion, thought on this. Uh, but we have to do it. There's no way around it in this election. It comes after years of attacks on the democratic process, stemming from former President Trump's election fraud lies. And now nearly 40% of election workers say they're facing abuse and harassment. The FBI recently said it's investigating threatening mail sent to officials in multiple states after last year's interception of letters containing suspicious powders, including one that tested positive for fentanyl sent to some election workers. It's managing the stress of the consistent pressure of, you know, threats coming at you. And, and I think that's just a lot for everyone to manage as well. Still, despite the current climate, some say they're not deterred, but determined. This work is like fighting for your own family. This work is the bedrock of, of our democracy. It, it is the front line in preserving our democracy. And to me, you can't find more impactful work than this. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.